uh, survey out the majority of people around the world, this ahead of the uh, uh, meeting coming out in da- Davos, Switzerland, starting this week. But the majority of people around the world believe capitalism in its current form is doing more harm than good. The study's author said that early studies showing rising sense of inequity prompted them to ask whether citizens, ask their citizens where they are or what they feel about capitalism. And the answer is yes, that they believe that it is flawed. Now, this is primarily due to global warming. See, they want to be able to go into Davos and make sure that corporate America in particular understands that global warming is at a crisis stage and they've got to do something about it. It is interesting because nobody yet has adequately articulated why corporate America is going to fall apart because of global warming. Now, I understand if everybody dies in eight years, like they're expecting, then that's going to hurt corporate America. Won't be anybody to buy anything. There also won't be anybody to care whether corporate America is dead or not, because everybody's going to be dead. These are American companies that they're chasing. Okay, so America, according to the Obama theory of global warming, global warming can be fixed if we send all of our oil to other countries to refine and process. Because surely they must do refinery and everything a lot better than we do, which is comical at best. So let's send it over there where they make a bigger carbon footprint. But in the meantime, we don't have to worry about it because, you know, the globe doesn't rotate. All the ozone goes straight up into the air and only pollutes the country that is making the pollution, right? So it really isn't global warming, is it? They say, hey, let's just get the oil out of our country. Let's start exporting crude oil. That'll solve the problem, surely. No, that's about destroying capitalism in America. There's no doubt in my mind that global warming is not going to destroy capitalism and the economics of it. Because it will be destroyed in the efforts of weak corporate America. They don't have the backbone to stand up to one protester. Weak corporate America folding their tent and going home. Because it isn't politically correct for them to make money off companies that are doing things about as clean as you could possibly do it, things that are necessities for the world population, but we're not going to fund them anymore. So, of course, they're going to fold up. And, of course, the elitists of corporate America in Davos will simply embrace everything they can about global warming and how that's impacting the economy so that they can be on the side of political correctness as they begin to lay off more and more and more and more till they no longer have companies that they have to worry about anymore, all in the name of being politically correct. Hey, remember to click the subscribe button right here on the screen. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when new content is added. And more importantly than anything, you don't want to miss all three live hours of financial issues every day from nine to noon. And you can watch it on FISM.TV. That's FISM.TV.